<laughs> All right, we're here with the legend Nigel Alexander, and he's here to do his very first persistence. We've been warming up for about four hours, <laughs> and we're finally ready to skate and film. I want to try and nollie 5 0 the whole ledge. Hopefully, I don't bore you guys to death. Not possible. <laughs> what are you expecting for your first persistence? I've, I've filmed um, so many of these, I'm very used to it, but I'm like curious to see what a newcomer kind of like I mean, feels about it. I'm pretty warmed up now, I feel good. That's one of the tricks I'm really good at. I don't want to fail. I think I'll do pretty good. Um, I just want to do a really good one, you know? Yeah. I don't want my, my tail to touch or anything, mm -hmm. so I might do one or two like that, yeah. and I won't like it. But if I can nollie and balance the whole thing, I'll be pretty psyched on that. Manual 5 -0. Yeah. All right, let's get it. Let's I'm going to start the timer real quick, because I always forget. It's a contest. We're starting? <laughs> let's do this. I can feel like the waves in it. Bam, bam. Um, is it weird that regular 50-50s sometimes feel harder to me than nollie 50-50s? It's, re it's really strange, I don't know what it is, but it's gotten a lot better lately, but my regular 50s, it was really weird for a second, but it's working out now, thank God. Whoa! All right, I jinxed myself for saying that. So I think I'll probably just nollie 5 -0, like a little bit of it first just to feel it out. I think just going straight into it is kind of risky. I'm not trying to get hurt, miss, slip out. I'm recovering from like a toe injury, so I'm trying to take it kind of mellow. I originally wanted to try and nollie flip the five stair, but uh, I think I still got to wait, so maybe next trip. I felt pretty good. Yeah, you didn't touch. What do you want for first try? Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with everything right now. Oh, I want my toe to be better. That's what I want. Can, can the look of the gab cure my toe? You just like touch it if I do it in this try. That was kind of one of the bad ones I showed you though. <laughs> I barely got on. Now we're just trying to get a buttery one. Yeah. One that's like steez. It's touching, you know what I mean? I'm trying mm. to get everything like proper so it's like balanced the whole way. Watch, you guys can comment, like it looks so much better when it's balanced because it's more like a Manny, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When it's chilling and you're, you're touching, it's kind of like, it's still good, but it's kind of cheap, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna get a legit one. So like get in it and sit there and balance on it just right. Because when you, you pop it in, it's like a pinch kind of like a crook. It just kind of locks in and you just sit on it. For a balance, you got to go fast and pop it in and get in just right and then lock your body so it's like balancing too, you know? Oh, that was it! Realize even on the run up, certain little key things that will like kind of tell me like you're not going to land this one. So on that one, I set up way too late and I wasn't like squared off. So I knew like 10 feet before, like this one's not gonna work. So I just knew not to like put too much energy into it, you know? Like just kind of pop in, just let it go. I mean, no, no, it's really safe for you guys to do that no matter what, right out the gate. Because if I would have went for that one, I probably would have slipped out or missed or could have gotten injured. So it's good to just wait for that one where you know everything's set right. So then you'll, you'll get a good clip, you won't get hurt. Who cares if it takes you a couple more tries, you know? That right there was this like why a balanced one is so much harder. I was in it, everything's going fine, and one little twist and it almost like twisted out and you can get wrecked, man. Ooh. It sucks when something like that happens on that try before, because that try, my body was totally freaked out, you know? Don't happen again, you know? <laughs> so then you're not really focusing on what's happening at the moment, you're focusing on what happened before, you know? It's hard to like clear your mind of that crap and get it out. Plus, you guys know plus. Brian Winning? If you guys know Brian Winning, make sure you guys look him up if you guys don't because that's what you guys call balance right there. Yeah. Like, that's King Balance. He was one of the mans who like made it so that a lot of us wanted to try tricks like this too. Shout out Chris Roberts too. I was just telling Vinny that I saw him do a fakey switch 5-0 and it was balanced also, like how I'm trying to do it. And it just looks so much cooler, you know what I mean? Let us know in the comments below. Let us know if you agree. Or am I just wasting my time? <laughs>
definitely not wasting it. No time. That was good. That was really <laughs> damn good. <laughs> Try and get those perfect clips, guys, Ooh. if possible. We're gonna trim off like 30 seconds because I'm an idiot and I forgot to stop it. <laughs> so I'm gonna say you did it in about 17 minutes and 45 seconds. Cool, I'm cool with that. And you stopped and you talked and only tried it about 10 times. So I'd say that was that was really good today. You know what's funny though is for me personally, I feel taking those breaks in between the tries actually helps a lot because you get a little bit of a breather and every, your muscles chill out. I'm kind of sore today too, so that actually helped me a lot to be able to sit and talk and explain what I'm doing and you know, mm -hmm. I think it would have taken longer if I was just rapid firing it, you yeah. know? So bad at like fist bumping you. <laughs> like you specifically, like, cause you do it a lot. I'm a fist bump fanatic. And I, I, I do it too much. It's not my fault all I have the time, a problem. but most of the time he goes to fist bump me and I'm just like, you killed it. Thank that was you. sick. Thank you. I would say like actual skating wise, you probably did that in like five minutes. He took a lot of time to talk and give you guys some advice. So for that and his amazing skating, you should go to his channel, his YouTube channel and subscribe. I will put a card and I will also put the link in the description below. So please go subscribe to him and support his channel. It would mean a lot to him and it would mean a lot to me. Also, also subscribe to this Braille Army channel. We're putting out content every day of pure skateboarding. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And like and leave a comment below. Thank you again. Dude, thank You're you guys. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, guys. Thank you, Vinny. Yeah, Vinny. Give us the power. Much love. <laughs> All of you guys are invited to the Braille House on September 9th, 2017 for Aaron Cairo's surprise birthday party. Get your tickets through the link below. They are limited and they will sell out quickly, so get them while you can. This is one that you do not want to miss.